Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in the awesome Inside. This was developed and published by Playdead, and would usually cost you £14.99, but has just gone on to Game Pass as of this moment, so what you waiting for? Get the hell out of Game Pass! Now, chances are you've probably played this before, seen as the game is around 6 years old, but if not, welcome to Inside. Uh, this game is by the same guys that made Limbo, although this is quite easier with another fantastic story. Uh, basically, the info when the story goes, Hunted and alone, a boy finds himself drawn into the centre of a dark project. That's it. That's the information. Um, but as for achievements, all 14 are related to finding all 14 secret collectibles. There's none uh, whatsoever for story relation or any miscellaneous missable ones. And importantly, most importantly, we need to find the first 13 secret collectibles to get the 14th. Luckily though, there are 69 chapters, with each one being just a few minutes long, so if you do end up missing one somehow, check the timestamps and bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your new uncle. All in all, you're looking at around one and a half to two hours to complete this, so with that being said then, let's begin. And when we do begin, we'll press the A button to get thrust straight into the action. Um, I'm just going to turn the brightness up as well, because that always makes it easier for everyone. Can't complain with that. So, um, left stick, of course, to move. Uh, we jump with the A button. We hold on to things and interact with things with the X button. And to push and pull things, we use the B button. So, you know, pre pretty straightforward, pretty easy there. As we can see, we can't push the logs, so we are going to jump on it. So this first part is basically, obviously, just like a tutorial, like you would expect. But as I said, this game is relatively easier in terms of you don't die as much as you do on Limbo. Goddamn spider. I hate them. So yeah, let's just get used to the mechanics here. So you slide down automatically. Again, press A with a jump. You will automatically crouch. You can just keep on going. Broski there is not going to give a crap. Because he doesn't know you're there. Because you are... You am sneaky ninja, yeah? Oh, yeah. So, keep it going, and obviously a lot of the time we will be running to the right, to the left. We're not going to be taking it back, no y'all. No hops this time. Burp. Right, when we get here, we're going to hide behind this, uh, whatever the hell this is. We're just going to wait until the two guys walk past us. So even though he's going to turn the flashlight, wait until he's actually past you. So around here is good, and then we can go. Because he can still spot you even if he doesn't have the flashlight, because apparently he's got ninja senses or some crap. Um, so as I said then, tutorial, we're going to be getting used to push and pull mechanics, what different enemies uh, we are to expect. So for this one, we're going to press the B button and then push it over with, of course, the left stick. And then you can sort of uh, move it again with the B button and push it and then jump up. So you've got to press the A button there and jump up onto the fridge. So don't worry about this part, we're automatically going to uh, just crouch. And like I said, the game literally thrusts you straight into it. There's no... Uh, no messing around with this part, it's literally, it's basically bending you over dry, which is nice. So as we jump down, we're going to grab this box. No, no, did I say nice? What I meant was, <laughs> ouch. But at least it's fun. Uh, no, I'll shut up now. So jump up then, and then take a jump to the right. And we're actually going to be coming up to our first collectible pretty soon. Um, so actually, there's going to be a dog that's going to start chasing us here. And all we need to do is just keep running to the right. Do not stop. Do not jump, just keep running. Because I think if you jump, it kind of slows you down slightly. So jump, make a jump for it, you'll end up jumping onto this vine. Dogs, I'm scary. You're not fluffy, you bad naughty dogs. I hate you. Uh, especially when they maul us to death later on. Uh, but of course, we'll worry about dogs mauling us to death later on, later on. So just keep on heading to the right. Um, more dogs are going to start chasing us here, by the way. So all we need to do is just keep running. So you know Dory from Finding Nemo, or Finding Dory? Just keep running, just keep running. Unless, of course, I got this wrong, which I believe I just did. So the dogs, are not, the next dogs are not chasing us yet. But there is a little puzzle that we need to come to. So here is a jeep, or a car. What we need to do, we're going to jump off a cliff edge here. Do not jump, just fall down, straight down, and go immediately to the left. And then if you've done that quick enough, you will not get flashlight. If you do get caught and you do end up dying and stuff like that, um, the checkpoints in the game are very, very good, to be honest. You basically start, you know, literally seconds before, so that's all good. 
So don't panic too much. If you end up getting mauled to death and having your neck broken, all sorts of weirdly fantastic death animations. Now, here are where the dogs are going to start chasing us then. No, nope. the men with flashlights. Sorry, why do I keep getting that wrong? But we do need to keep running anyway. Jump over the logs. Uh, I think if you do fall over the logs, you may lose a second or two and get caught. Wait here until the car turns to the left. There we go. And then you can start chasing or start running away. There is going to be the second guy there that starts chasing you. But that's fine because apparently you've got the stamina of an absolute, absolute bullfrog or, or whatever. And they've got, <laughs> they've got a worse aim than me going to the toilet at 3 in the morning. So that's all good. Make sure to jump over the log again. Now the dogs stop bloody chasing us. Dive! Make a goddamn dive for it. Right, press up on the D-pad or press up on the left stick, of course. You can die if you stay underwater too long. So if we immediately swim to the left, we're going to swim down. And as you can see, there's a yellow cable there. Now that, if you ever see a yellow cable, it will always signify a collectible. So if you do see one, you know one is pretty close. So diving under here and coming into this new secret room. Uh, of course, press the B button and uh, give it a little wiggle, you know. Like you would when you shake your, shake your, you know, after a wee. Just give it a little wiggle, put it to the right, and then just press the B button on the, le and then the left stick to pull it out. Bam! That is the first out of 14 achievements. Also, you don't actually need to complete the game. Uh, we will actually get all the achievements about 20 minutes before we complete the game. But I do show you the, the end of the game anyway, uh, just in case you wanted to see some of the last few puzzles that we need to do. So jumping back down then, again, the swimming animation is very easy. If you stay underwater too long, you'll feel a vibration. That's basically you gasping for air. So you need to sort of, uh, I think you get up to three before you need um, some air. See the spotlight there? We're just going to dive underwater and go into it. Hey, screw you, buddy. Up your butt, mate. Go peg someone else, because he ain't pegging me today. Wait, what? Anyway, keep on swimming lovingly to the right for now. Uh, just take a little breather. Nice to see Peppa Pig and her family doing well just there. Right, we are coming up to a little maze corner. Now we are going to be grabbing the second collectible. But what we need to do, as we are running through this uh, cornstarch maze field, whatever it is, keep spamming the X button. Just keep spamming the X button as quick as you can and keep running. And then eventually what you're going to do is grab onto a, hat a hatch that you cannot see. So eventually it's going to... There it is. So if you keep doing that, you can now see me just to the sort of left... Um, of the gap in the maze right there um, So what we need to do is go to the left side of it open it up So again, that's uh, pressing the X uh, the X button and then up on the d-pad that will reveal this secret room And then when we head to the left of course we can see the yellow cable that will signify ams collectible ams there ams it is So that will be the second one completo rancho relaxo And that one is called field research Fantastic. So yeah, just make sure that, uh, you know, you can see the gap right there. It's literally just to the left of that. That is where the hatch is. Otherwise, we can just carry on running to the right. So that's what we basically do for a lot of this game. Solve a puzzle, and the puzzles are... There's only one or two that I sort of struggled with, and it took about five or six minutes. The rest were, you know, pretty linear, pretty easy. Still very, very enjoyable. Oh man, look at me now. I'm soaking wet. Has anybody got a towel? Peppa? Daddy Pig? Anybody alive? Oh. Anybody fancy some free AIDS bacon then? You've got plenty of AIDS bacon just walking past us right there. Anyway, here we are then. To the right hand side, climb up on the rope. Now normally what I do is swing left to right twice to give yourself a good bit of momentum. So climb up, as you can see through the gap on the right. Jump up, and then we can just jump down. Lovely. Now here is our first, well it is basically our first puzzle. So pull the switch on this engine three times. Again, pressing the B button, of course you should probably, you probably know that by now. Uh, pressing the B button three times. Ignore the switch, ignore the lever switch right there and just go all the way to the left. Of course, press the B button and then up on the D-pad. And that will open up the door, give it a little push as well. 
and then just get the chicks to follow you. Hello, little fluff balls. Who wants to be in my KFC later? Who wants to be in my Kentucky Fried Chicken? I know you guys do. Anyway, go all the way over to the right, and now we're just going to wait for the chicks to follow us. This is kind of slightly a little timed one. So when they get right to the wall, basically where we are right now, you know, as long as the majority are over, that's absolutely fine. What we're going to do is make a break for it to the left. Then we're going to press the B button and then move the switch lever to the left. So bam, do that, and then they'll get sucked up. Don't worry, they won't die. They're just going to knock off the box for us. So thank you very much, my future food. I mean, you cute little chickens, of course. Of course. Uh, and that's the end of the chicks, so I guess I'll see you on my boneless banquet later. Thanks, B. So, uh, yeah, so you should, of course, be used to the sort of jumping with the A button and up and down and left and uh, with the B button and everything by now. Make an Assassin's Creed-style um, leap of faith into the pigs. Somehow you literally don't snap your ankles, I don't know how. Drag the dead pig cart over to the left. And now what we need to do is climb up. So again, it's pressing A and up on the D-pad. Um, pull off this plank. And then what we can do is just jump back on the pig cart and slide our way through lovingly. Mmm, smells like death and feces in here. Delicious. So, up we climb. And again, I don't tend to go all the way to the very, very top. But give yourself a couple of swings to the right and left. Again, normally about two times should do it. Give yourself a jump off, and there is collectible number three. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> all the way home, although these piggies literally didn't make it all the way home. Nor to the market. Nor anywhere, by the looks of thing. But again, I will see you in my sandwich later on. Nice, a little bonus banquet and a little bacon sausage sandwich going on. It's going well so far, but again, sorry if you're a vegetarian and vegan. I'm, I'm sorry, I just... I'm a fat git, I like food. I like meat, I'm sorry. Please don't cancel me. Right, jump up to the right then after pulling the pig cart to the right. And now we're going to be coming up to a puzzle. Um, a little pig puzzle in just a moment. But for now, just keep heading to the right and then climb over the fence. And then what's going to happen, when we go past this pig closest to us, he is going to start attacking us. Now, the only way to get through this is jump over him, and then do it the same the other way. So keep running to the right as much as you can, and then turn around and then jump over him. And then again, just jump over him to the right. Keep running to the right as far as you can, and then at the sort of last minute, jump over him. So we just need to keep going, keep doing the same thing that we are doing. Again, if you die, you'll literally just start the beginning of this um, Peppa Pig, Daddy Pig boss fight, if you want to call it that. Uh, so when he goes in here, don't worry, he won't come back out to the left, but he will still be there, so be careful. So just keep doing the same thing until you get all the way over to the right-hand side, and Daddy Pig smashes his chunky old nugget on, uh, on a wall. <laughs> Ho, 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 Daddy Pig. You ain't shit, girl. Right, pull the pig's tail. That's um, a bit unfortunate. But what we can actually do now is control the dude. Or at least drag him. Now, that looks so wrong. So wrong. If you want to eat him, that's fine. But you don't... No, no, you can't be doing that. Anyway, drag him over to this mind control helmet. And then jump up and you'll automatically get into it. And as you can see in the background, we are now going to control a couple of dudes. So go to the right so that the two guys are down. Then walk all the way over to the left. Now, just press the B button to hold on to it. And then move the other guys over to the right. And then press up on the D-pad there or up on the left stick. That will get them moving. And then push all four guys over. And you need to pull this um, little pla uh, bunch of planks. So make sure to grab it with the B button and then pull it with the left stick. So sorry for the explanation. The, the initial puzzle was quite quick there. But yeah, you're just getting the two guys to press the B button, not lifting it up, and then grabbing the other two guys over the right-hand side. So so again, apologies though if that was a little bit quick. Um, but otherwise, we're all good, and that is how we do that puzzle. And somehow, we have this incredible steroid strength to um, smash this one open. Job done, mate. But we are outside, and that's the end of Inside. So, 
If this was, you know, a, a, a shit long game or something, this would be 16,000 gamer score. Actually, it'd be too long for a shit long game, I think, wouldn't it? <laughs> 15 minutes. Um, sorry, I haven't done a good old uh, shit bash for a while. So, again, for now, just keep on heading to the right. Ignore everything in the background. You don't need to worry just yet. So, coming up to the cart, you think pulling it would be the good thing, but no, we're going to push it all the way to the right. That is going to lower the chain here on the left. And again, like I said, a Bob is your new Nan's uncle. So, climb up the chain, boys. Let's get it, let's get it on, and then jump to the right. Because you don't, you don't give a shite. Open up the windows, then. Again, incredible strength, where he seemed to struggle with opening up a crappy window, but, um... Anyway, here are some birds which serve absolutely no purpose into the game whatsoever, so, um... Uh, yeah, well, goodbye. And then, of course, we're going to jump up on this little ledge. We are actually going to be going for yet another secret collectible here. So, climb up the ladder. It is pretty evident. I don't think there's anything else to do right now. We're going to make a little jump to the left. Should be able to make it uh, easily. We need to now push these, this sort of stack of planks, pull it, so that it is hitting the um, sort of wood beam there on the left-hand side. Uh, climb over it and then just make sure that it's pushed neatly up against that. Turn the switch up and make it go as far as it'll go up. Once it's good, we are once again going to jump over the gap here, climb up the ladder. And then we're going to go left, we're going to go left, and we're going to go left, jump up again. And then what we're going to do is push the safe, but make sure to run back on the right-hand side uh, as to avoid dying. I'm not sure if we can die here, but basically when you push it off, immediately just jump over to the right again. Not sure if the height difference means that you can die. Um, it's pretty iffy with that one, but, you know, better not to risk it, isn't it? So we're going to go neatly and nicely down the stairs. And, um, yeah, let's head through the hole. Everybody's favourite saying... Hey, that's a pretty big hole. Can I fit my head through there? Why, yes we can. There we go, we're jumping down, and as you can see, there is a yellow wire, so we're going to pull the vent, which of course B, and the, uh, pushing right in the left stick. And there is, once again, another secret collectible, and that is called, um, Left Behind. Now, I was going to do a Slipknot scream there, but it's late at night, and really, nobody wants to hear that anyway, so I'm not going to bother with that one. <laughs> so when we jump down here then, we are going to interact with this, uh, yes, we're going to interact with the lever. Pull this to the left. And then we can jump up, and then jump up to the mind control thing. Now, what that's going to do is, there's a guy on our right, and what we need to do is basically go, go to the left so that the two guys here are basically just in the middle. Press down on the left stick there in A to get off, and then move the switch lever to the le uh, right to close the door. Jump back onto the mind control machine, and then it's pretty easy. Just press right stick until the both guys are uh, at the wall, and then go to the left, and they will open up the doors. We can just jump down, and once again, Bob is your mother's new butt bag. All done. Right, so almost 20 minutes in. See, boys, we're flying, ain't we, girls? Flying it right now. Right now. I love the Northern Irish accent. Noi, near. Noi. So, up we go, and we're just going to keep heading to the right. Noi. And look, there's a big sea. You big country horse, you. Uh, but what we are going to do, we're actually going to be coming up to yet another secret collectible. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start sliding down, and then at the bottom, jump. And then we're going to interact with this drain pipe. Instead of going up, though, we're going to go down, jump to the left to interact with this ladder. And then we can go all the way down. Not to Peppa Pig land, but to another secret collectible land, which will be the Obscure Foundations. So, Obscure Foundations. Just a little bit of, like, elevated music for you there, just while you climb up the ladder. Sorry. Sorry about that. So, climbing up all the way up the old pipe Dwayne, the old Dwayne pipe. I wonder if there's a guy called Mr. Dwayne Pipe out there. There's got to be somewhere, isn't it? Uh, but we are going to climb up this fence. Make sure to jump over the gap here. Otherwise, you're going to fall 
very painfully to your death. Jump up, and then when we climb across here... <gasps> oh, no, it breaks. So, which is unfortunate. So we need to now go to the right, of course. And like I said, the paths are pretty linear. Uh, some of the puzzles do get can get a little bit tricky and a bit confusing sometimes, but otherwise it is kind of good. Right, don't go dive bombing off the edge. Go very slowly over the edge and press down on the left stick there to start going down the old Dwayne pipe. Again, because it's so easy to just miss it, and then once again you unfall. You fall and then unnecessarily to your death. Uh, pull off a couple of these planks here. Again, mate, this kid must have had a good bunch of roids in him before he somehow got lost into this part of the world. And then we're going to jump down. Slide to the down. Right, push the ladder over to the right, and then we can climb it. So, again, sometimes your first instinct would be to turn around and climb up it to the left, but there's nothing there, just a wall. So, do not press this switch. For the love of God, do not press the switch. There are, these are basically spotlight robots, so if they spot you, they're going to kill you. So what we need to do first, head over all the way to the right, as you can see. Open up the elevator first. And then we need to turn on the switch, which will um, turn on the spotlight. So what we need to do is basically hide behind the pillars, but the shadows are sort of off ever so slightly to the left, as you'll be able to see. So if you stand so directly behind the pillars, as you'll be able to see with the spotlight there, so as the spotlight goes, so does the shadow. So, oh, it, it, you may get caught there. Uh, head all the way over to the right, just in case, as you press the B button there to interact with that, um, with the button. But yeah, sometimes the timing on some of these spotlight puzzles can be quite tight. Um, but yeah, generally it's not too bad when you know what you're sort of doing. But just be aware that the shadows do move as the spotlight moves as well. So, you just stood in seagull crap. I mean, we've had dogs and stuff chasing us, so a bit of seagull dump does not bother us at all. We're automatically going to fall down. And, oh no. Now, some spotlight, bro. Just <laughs> We just crushed someone. So, Soz, kid. Soz, you, you okay? Yeah. Right. So, you can hear the heartbeat. He's already crapping his pants, as you uh, so often would. We just need to stay roughly somewhere in the middle. So just do exactly as these guys do. Do not turn to the left. If you ever go to the left, you're going to be shot basically straight away. So this sort of section takes just a couple of minutes. So all you're doing then is when they walk, of course, you walk. When they stop, you stop. And then we'll be coming up to a little box sort of area where you just have to do very simplistic tasks. But you've got to do it... You don't have to do it exactly the same time. As you can see there on the right-hand side, they're jumping. So you don't have to do it the exact same time, but try and obviously get as close to the timing as you possibly can. Just like you don't have to stay in the middle here, but sort of stay in the middle as much as you can. So, when we stop, we're going to jump. And then we're going to have to do this one again. So we're going to stop, give it a second, and then jump. There it is. So that doesn't arouse a spicky on at all. Oh man, I tell you what, wouldn't just a nuke or something? Oh Jesus, sorry, got a bit, uh, got a bit ahead of myself there. Literally, just a rocket launcher would have made this easier. Although they're innocent. So all we're doing for this next box part now, we're just going to turn left and then turn back to the right. So of course, very important here. Turn left now. I was a little bit late, as you can see, on both counts, but it wasn't too bad. And then do the same thing again. So turn left. Turn right, and that's the end of that chapter. But now, eventually, we are going to be spotted, and we are going to be chased by dog. Oops, Jerry. <laughs> we are going to be chased by dogs as we enter into the next room. Man, this kid has a lot of crap thrown at him. You think he has to spend, uh, you know, five hundred pound a month on energy bills, <laughs> like everyone in the UK, which we're not going to do, by the way. So you can shove that up your butt snatch, I'm telling you. Right, so this is the part. We are just going to, as soon as the dogs start, we're just going to keep running to the right. They're going to know. So right now, we're going to start running. As soon as they start barking, the flashlight goes, run like hell, jump like hell, smash and basically break your whole body like hell. But apparently we haven't broken a whole body, and that's good. 
Right, ignore workers in the, in the right. Wait here until the dog is at the very bottom. Now jump. So again, that one is timed, and then we should have enough time to jump into the mind machine here. If you didn't wait for the dog right there, he would have mauled you, and you would have just had to have started about 10, 15 seconds or so um, previous. So, of course, as you can see, grabbing the mind guy at the top, the mindless worker, uh, get him to drop us on this box. So drop down on this box, and we can jump down. Grab this next box, and then push it all the way over to the right, so that it opens up the door above us. Yeah, grand is pretty much nothing else to say about that. And then what we can do is jump up, go back into the mine machine, and then press the B button, of course, and we're going to drag the mine cart at the top all the way through. We do have to do another little bit with another one of our bald eagled friends. Bald and, I, bald and angry friends. Hey, Mike? Hey? Yeah, yeah. Mike knows what I'm talking about. So, push this one all the way to the right for now. And then what we can do is jump up as the minus guy and jump to the left. So now, as you can see, surprise! Ding dong! Daddy's home! So, drag the minecart to the left. And I'll put it to the sort of left of the sort of uh, trap uh, contraption above us. Then, as the minus worker, we can just jump up. From here, we can jump up to the right. And we can open up the door. Now... We can press down on the D-pad, or down on the left stick, and then A, to jump down as the minus worker there, as you can see. And we can now push the minecart, or pull the minecart, whatever, all the way through. So thank you for taking the knee right there, bro. So, that's us done. Now, what we need to do, a bit of an edit, we need to try and keep this as far left to the uh, ground below as possible. So go over, push the lever to the right, and then make sure it's open all the way, and then just drop down as mindless boy and yes we are through so first thing we're doing we're heading to the left so don't go over to the right yeah i know it's very tempting again but there is basically a pallet that we need to grab there it is so go immediately down now i did die with that that was why there was a little bit of an edit skip right there because because i did die i uh got my leg paul newman got my legs broke so um yeah that's why there was a little edit skip Anyway, drag this pallet all the way to the right for the sec. Alright, so there we go. What we're going to do is, of course, keep heading to the right. And we can't go to the up, we can't go to the down, we can't go to the upside down. Press the button here, that's going to drain the water and open up the Dora for us. So let's go Dora in the Explorer in, shall we? So another little puzzle, what we're going to do here, we are going to push the button to make the water rise again. All good, we're just going to float for a little second. But of course it's going to cover the door. But what it is going to do is uh, give us the chain on the right. So we're going to uh, head down. Press the button once again, and then immediately start going to the right, so you can get up on the shelf right there, the um, edge, and go through the door. So again, if you know if you do end up missing that, of course, just push the button again. It's all good. Uh, jump up here, and we are going to drag this suitcase and just drag it to the left. Now, we're not going to um, push it all the way off the edge. We're going to leave it just underneath the chain. So, there it is. As you can see the chain at the top, leave it sort of roughly somewhere between there. Then we can jump down, push the button. And, of course, the water's going to rise, rise. And we can just jump on the suitcase. You don't have to be as quick. The suitcase will always stay there, so that's all good. But that gives us some belligerent sick restraint chains. Sorry, I had to get a Slipknot lyric in there for some reason. And that's the end of that one. Right. Let us keep going to the right for now. And then, of course, as is usual, we are going to jump down. But there is another spotlight. So, of course, what obviously we need to do is just wait until it starts going to the left. Ah, she blows me. Jump down and you can see the shadow on the floor. Now, remember what I said earlier. Where the spotlight moves to the right and left, so does the shadow. So just be make sure to do that. Then we need to grab this and 
keep basically turning it to the right or clockwise and then just go underneath the um, pipe again wait till the spotlight starts going to the left and of course grab the B button and then keep pushing the lever the circle lever here to the right um, I think you can get this done in about three tries uh, either three or four tries again there's no rush there's literally no need to rush though so you know don't think that you've got to be as quick as me because I love the game the first time love the game the second time and the third time so I just know what I'm doing here but you should be able to get it done in three times just about as you can see just about now with this bit uh, there's gonna be another spotlight on the right hand side but you actually need to jump over onto the ledge to get it to start and it, there is a little bit of timing involved as well so there we go once it starts jump back over to the left of course and as soon as it starts going right jump yourself over to the right there it is now of course wait underneath this pipe and again you got to be you got to be quite quick on this part so as soon as the spotlight's going over to the left and you're all good jump up stop and then as soon as the spotlight starts going to the right quickly interact with the hatch there open it up and jump down and you should just be able to make it as I just did so can be a bit tight for timing but generally again shouldn't be too bad so let's head down and let's head on to Chainmere don't jump off just you know enjoy the scenery enjoy the you know the craps literal crap spewing from the literal pipes you know clog pubic hairs down the toilet and you know wet wipes and stuff like that mmm delicious Licious, licious, micious. So, heading to the right. Now, I believe this is the area with the dogs. It is the area with the dogs. So, as you can see, a couple of dogs here. Now, what we are going to do is automatically crouch, but we are going to be having to do a little bit of puzzles in order to get past some. So, once we start sneaking our way to the right, sneakily... Right, we're going to jump down. Now, do not get out of the water. What? Well, we need to get out of the water and then jump back in. And I'll show you exactly what I mean now. So, the dog's not going to come, like I said, until you jump out. So what you need to do, jump out of the water. Wait until the dog starts coming. Jump back into the water. And then as soon as the dog jumps in, get out. Get out as quick as you can. And that should give you enough time to jump over to the other side. Oh man, my butt snatch. It's giving me brown pants time. Right, quickly climb up on the fence, but stay here for a second. And then jump down. Now, pull off one plank. And then as soon as you do that, quickly go back to the left and jump up on... Uh, go to the very top of the fence and climb back over. Now, jump back down. Now, jump back down off the top. Okay, because that gives you more than enough time and you don't sort of stumble and fall then. So you've got to jump off from the top okay all right so do the same thing once they're around jump back off pull off the next plank oh man come on bro steroid strength need more jump back up over to the top and then jump back off here wait until the dogs are around of course you know climb back up to the top of those you're going to get your butt ate not in a good way jump back down there we go and this should be the final plank. I think you might have to jump back on the chain link fence. No, you should be good to climb through, actually. No. So you do that three times, and that's automatically done. Ha <laughs> ha! You suck! Now, I'm pretty sure that's the only way to do that dog section as well. So, I'm not sure if there's another way. That's the only way that I've ever known how to do it. So, job's done, mate. Right. Jumping down El Ladarino. Man, all that talk about Peppa Pig and... Those KFC chickens getting me hungry. Right, you can drop down, but make sure to stay in the shadow. So stay as far left as you can here, because there's basically a guy in a submarine. Oh, we're going to do a bit of submarining now. Grande. Uh, but basically, we just have to wait until these two guys go into their office. If they do catch you, they'll basically snap your neck and chuck you in the river, which is pretty harsh to do to a kid, but... You know, what do I know? Um, apparently you have to come and practice in other countries or parts of the world for some weird reason. So anyway, once they're in their office, um, you're pretty good to go. You don't have to jump up onto the submarine, which is what I'm trying to do here. You can literally just press up on your left stick and then down on your left stick uh, to, yeah, to jump in. 
And then, just to use it, of course, it is literally using your left stick to go in a directional... Um, to go in whatever direction you want. If you press and hold the A button and then release the A button, that gives off a bit of a charge as well. So that's what we're going to need to do. The blast through this door here on the right. So press the A button and then release it. You'll still have to do it in the direction that you want to go. So if you want to go up, you can go up. As you can see, we went down just through these wooden pallets. Or these wooden planks, sorry, right here. So again, that's just something to be aware of. You still need to go into the direction that you want to go with the left stick. So, go over to the right and then we're going to start heading down. And then what we're going to see is basically like a little, a little cracked wall. A little crack in the wall, a little crack in the door or something. But it's basically something that we can get into. There it is. Crack balls in the wall balls. So, we're going to start heading down to the right, to the down now, y'all. Let's go through to one, well, one's footless stamp. Eh. Right, there's going to be another little crack in the hole that, uh, crack in the hole in the wall that we can do. Now, you only need to basically charge up against the top. That was not a charge, that was literally a love tap. And it was barely a love tap. Um, but basically, I end up breaking the whole of the wall, but... Um, now you should be able to just get away with uh, cracking the top, sort of the top two bits of the wall. Should be alright with that, but um, apparently I'm going nuts with this one. Right, so when we're done, we are parking our submarine right to the very side of the door, and then we're going to swim down and head through. Now remember, like I said earlier, when the controller vibrates, um, that means that you uh, take it in a gulp of air. So I think you get three gulps of air before you eventually drown and drown to death. So if you start feeling the vibrator, uh, your controller vibrate, just go up and grab some air. So we're heading all the way to the right once more, of course. Jumping up on these lockers and then heading to the left to climb up on this rope. So again, climb, climb, climb. Delilah, nya, 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 nya. and then when we are up here, what we need to do then, we need to push this button, and then we need to run immediately to the left. No jump in, so just run. Do not jump, because uh, it'll slow you down. You'll get crushed. Even when jumping off the edge, just don't jump. Just climb straight down. And again, Bob is your new heart's uncle bag. So there we go. With that one done, from here, what we can do is just start heading to the right. Don't, uh, I was going to start swimming to the left, but there's nothing at the left. Nothing of any interest anyway, apart from more waters and more depression. So, uh, we don't need more depression, do we? So what we need to do then is now jump up basically to the same place that we just were. There is a button that we need to push, which was in the tank room. Which, of course, um, we couldn't have done because we were about to get run over by tanks. Although, in normal life, what you could have done is just press the button and then literally move to the side. You know, the side of the wall, but there we go. What What do I know? Um, I'm not a game developer or a game player. Or, uh, I'm a game player, but not a game marketer in any way. So, this is a new mechanic then. So, you jump up, you press the B button there to interact with it. And then, after a few seconds, it shoots up. And then you can make a big jump for it. Now, from sort of now until basically the end of the game, uh, they're going to become quite frivolent and quite common in place. So, just keep heading and skip, hop, jump in like you're doing a triple jump at the Olympics or something to the left. Smash onto the rope. And again, give yourself a good bit of momentum. Again, I always swing from left to right twice. Give yourself the ultimate momentum. That will chuck you over. That pushes the button and that opens the door for us. So what you can do then is the Assassin's Creed leap of faith. Oh, my legs are not broke this time. Thank God. Still thinking about that KFC. Oh my god, did you just see that? That is an enemy that we have to deal with while we are underwater. Right, this bit can be a pain in the ass. Trying to jump over. Um, yeah, may take you a couple of tries. But you need, again, you need to get the sort of left stick sort of to the top right. Get back in, douchebag. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, go underneath. And then, 
Yes, yes. As you can see, my basketball career was ruined because, well, I sucked at all of it. And I never really had a basketball career. Or football career or rugby career because I got a bad knee. That's the excuse, right? That's why... Uh, fame, that's why players never made it, because we all got a bad knee. Right, from here we're going to go down. And then we need to go through this big red door with the plank of wood next to it. And we are actually going to be coming up to another collectible. So start heading straight down instead of going to the right. And you're going to see this sort of lone box. You can see the uh, yellow wire there in the background. Here is the box, so we need to charge this boy, Doin. Doin, Noi, in the mirror. And there we go then. So let's go Doin, Noi. Sorry, I hope I'm not offending you, uh, Northern Irish legends. Uh, so we're going to keep heading down, keep heading down, and eventually we can start heading to the left, like here. And I think this is the only puzzle that we've got to do in order to grab the collectible. And it's not a very hard one at all. So go all the way to the left, jump out, and start climbing up the ladder. Get yourself into the old Mind Melvin. Gehoeven. And then just make sure to get this mind worker or mindless worker on your submarine. So then we can jump down and just head in. But as long as he is actually on top of your submarine, you're on to a winner. Um, from here then, jump back in and go to the right. He shouldn't fall off. And if he does, then, well, you can just do it again. It's all good. So put him in the middle where the mind thing is. Go down and then fly him up. And that should give him just enough boost and momentum there to get him going. So, let's put our submarine all the way to the left. You don't have to put it all the way to the left, but I don't think it makes too much of a difference. Now we're going to get Mind Melvin again. That will control the second guy, and that will give us the next collectible. We haven't had one for a while, have we? But, friends in low-hanging fruit places. Well, it's not low-hanging fruit, but it is friends in low places. That is the achievement that will unlock. And for some reason, it's kind of delayed on mine. Um, so, hopefully it's not the same for you. And there we go. So, heading up, and now, like I said, we are going to have to start dealing with the weird mermaid, sort of nude-looking girl. It's weird, but you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Uh, but keep heading up anyway, and here is the door on the right. So give that the old charge of life. And... Nah, nah, nah. She is basically going to be in front of us... Uh, not now, apparently. Not now, no. So what you need to do then is go over to the pipes. Make sure that your submarine is over on the right-hand side pipes here. So you can see that the, you know, the pipes and stuff on the left. Make sure that we are on the right side of that. Yeah, all good, all good. Just make sure you're on the right-hand side. Climb up and get out of your submarine. Jump over to the left and start heading down. There is a button, once again, that we need to push. But you're going to need some air, so don't go down as far as I did. Um, just swim, keep swimming at the top. <laughs> keep swimming at the top so you know you don't dr drown. And as you can see, the button it should be directly below us. When you're sort of straight there, get your noggin down there, mate. Go on, son. Go on! Skablamo Marge! There we go, and then immediately start heading up so you do not die. Trust me, dying is a bit of a minor inconvenience. I would highly advise against it. But of course, this is why we needed the submarine on the right-hand side. Otherwise, we couldn't get through. Um, so, from here then, what we need to do is give ourselves a little charge. Pop ourselves uh, all the way through again. There we go. Snoicy loicy. Right, so here we are then into the next area. Smash through this old plank. And now, this is the one with the weird thing ring from the thing. So what you need to do is just keep um, going and attacking her. Now when she goes to the left, just push a flashy light immediately onto the left of her until she goes away as far as you can. Then keep going to the right. Basically what we were doing with the pig earlier. So as soon as she gets close, turn the light around as, as far away as she can go and then uh, come here. Now, what I would do is get as close to the door and to the top of the door as possible. Keep shining light at her and then go and then immediately use your charge on the left hand side door. And that should um, smash her out. That should keep her out for a bit. If she manages to get through, what she does is break the window and eats you alive. Which, again, sounds pretty sexual, but it's absolutely not. It hurts. And then we've got to do it again. So that's what happens there. Uh, you can see the pieces of wood that we're going to do. We're going to charge this up twice. Hiya! Let's start heading to the left. 
Yes, that's what I said, the left. And people on the right are going absolutely ballistic right now. The left? The left can't meme? How dare they? My Brexit views? Brexit, 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 Brexit. Sorry, sorry, wrong video, wrong time, wrong place. So, <laughs> keep on heading to the left anyway. And then what we need to do is charge into these pipes twice. So again, give yourself a little charge. Charge into them twice until they break. Once again, that was a love tap and not a charge. And when that job is done then, get out of the submarine. Try not to fall back in. Again, that usually helps. And then what we can do is just climb up, climb up the ladder, and that is the next secret done. And this one is called a tableau. A tablia. Tableau? Tableau. It's a, it's a table AU. So maybe it's like an Australian table or something. A tableau. Yeah, tinnies and stuff. Australia. Woo! Barbecues. Um... <laughs> Dingoes eating my babies. Right, sorry, 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 Aussies. That was the worst, crappiest Australian accent in the world, and that's very prejudice of me. Not all dingoes eat babies, am I right? Probably just leave that for all the goddamn huntsman spiders out there. Blech. Sorry, getting my British pansiness out there about spiders. Right, so, back into the submarine, heading all the way over to the right. Yeah, the, the Aussies are a lot harder than... Pretty much the rest of the world, I'd say. Got so much crap to deal with. Plus bugs and stuff and... Yeah. Aussies are kings and queens. So, what we're going to do then, for now, is just take a nice relaxing stroll through the beach, wondering still what the hell is actually going on. So then, there is this part roughly takes about 8 to 10 minutes to do or so. So what we're going to do, go past the elevator here, and then all the way on the right, what we're going to see is one lone guy on a switch, and we're going to interact with this switch, and there's a number 19 right there. So what we need is a whole bunch of mindless workers. We need 20 in order to uh, open up the door. So here's the elevator. We're going to go down first. I said this one takes about eight to ten minutes. It's not really overly difficult to do, but there's just a lot of steps getting all the guys together and you know getting the crew together. It can be quite tricky. So, I mean, it's not tricky, but it just takes a while. So heading to the right, you see, uh, you see this lever. This is what we're going to use. We're going to go all the way down until we're onto the next tra rail track right there. And as soon as we hit the bottom, let's go for a little run to the right, of course. Of course, everything is to the right. I know the left are angry that I keep mentioning the right so much. Oh my god, the political power. So, here is a bunch of dudes, but of course they're not going to be following us just yet. We need to actually get to the top. And to do that, it's very easy. So, jump in the water. Head down. Keep on heading down, and then immediately go to the right. Uh, swim up here, so you, uh, into this little air pocket. What's in my pocket? Nothing, it's just some air. Get yourself some air, go down, go to the right, and then go all the way back up once again. So you may be able to do that in sort of one fell swoop, but uh, you know, it's always better to risk it, not risk it. Better to be safe than sorry. Put something on the end of it, as it were, so you don't get your lady lover pregnant. 
um, I don't know what that's got to do with not drowning, but you know what I mean anyway. So, a couple of rope swings right here. Doing a bit of George of the Jungle style monkeying around. Ooh, ah, ah. Did I just make a monkey noise? <laughs> oh, man, I'm just going all kinds of nuts right here. Right, jump as far as you can over to the left again. And now what you can do is jump, of course, until you get the Mind Melvin thing going. You drop, but the guys catch you. Wow! Now we've got a fancy new hat on our heads. But what that does, of course, is gets the mindless workers following us constantly. So this is a new mechanic as well. What you can do is press up on your left stick when you're next to a ladder. And then press A and up. And they will help you jump up. So up on the left stick to go up. And then up and A to uh, jump up into certain places as well. So again, that is going to become another sort of common feature as we progress through the rest of the game. So we need to use and interact with this lever again. Now you have to make sure that all your people are on. If you end up missing one, just, uh, you know, either come back to this area or, you know, just wait until they're all on so you don't have to come back to this area. That will probably be the easiest thing to do, I reckon. So, up we go. And now that's good, so now we can start heading to the left. And what we're going to see then is this big number two. I mean, it's a big dump truck or something. <laughs> number two dump truck. Ha! I didn't even mean for that one, but that's funny. Uh, but anyway, make sure to grab it and everyone else will grab it. Now put it, you can see the light right shining there at the top of the screen. Sort of put it so the light is sort of shining in the middle. As long as you've got it somewhere in the middle right there of the light shining on the top, you should be fine. Remember to press up on the left stick. And then up on the left stick and the A button to jump up to get your mindless follower broski broskis to jump up. Climb yourself up and then head to the left. Now we can just fall through the hole. You should have put that perfectly in the center. So there we go. And immediately then your mindless followers will start helping you out. Looks like they got a mind of their own after all. Because I got the hat and the power. The power. Right, there is another collectible through the plank, but we can't pull it off yet because apparently uh, we're weak with this plank when we're literally lifting up shutter, heavy shutter doors and stuff. So, whatever. Uh, so anyway, heading to the left, we are going to grab a couple more mindless workers now. <coughs> and the way we're doing this then, we're going to push the box over to the left. And then what we're going to do is uh, interact with this thing, the gas box, I'll call it. Grab the box and push it back to the right when the gas box goes over and then that sort of stays up on top. Interact with the gas box again. I'm just going to call it a gas box. It's easier. I don't know what it is. Jumping gas box, whatever it is. As soon as it's at the top of its height, jump over and that releases a couple more mindless workers. Again, luckily, no broken bones. Now, these mindless workers are literally what... I used to look like when I used to work in factories. God damn, that shit was depressing. So this is exactly what everyone looked... If you always want to know what it's like to work in a factory, basically, the mindless workers are literally it. So, let's go and grab our next collectible, shall we? Interact with the plank here as we fall down. They're going to pull it off, and now, we can fl and now we can jump through. Now, this one may take you one or two tries. So what we need to do is head down. We need to grab a torch off the wall... And you're going to be attacked in from your left and your right by four dogs. So two dogs each side. So you just have to be careful and be wary which ones are going to start attacking you. So just like with the pig earlier on. Um, here's the torch, by the way, so grab that. So just like with the pig and everything earlier on. And the little mermaid girl. You need to keep heading to the left. And then as soon as the ones on the right start attacking, just wave. Um, you'll, you'll automatically wave your torch at them anyway. So there's that one. Immediately, look, go to the right. And then just go to the left. Keep heading to the left as far as you can until you see the dog on the right start attacking. Keep going to the left. And again, as soon as he attacks, turn around. Then just keep going to the left. Another one will join on the right. There it is. And again, as soon as they bugger off, go to the left. Then turn immediately around to the right again. Turn to the left. Get rid of the ones on the right. 
pull the, the um, collectible and they should run away. So that is how you do that one. So again, in terms of timing, may take you one or two tries, but that gets us the pack mentality achievement. And that one is already 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That one's already number eight. So yeah, flying through them. But yeah, that is why it may take a few times. Um, it may be easy to, um, especially when you're quite close to the collectible, you just want to keep pushing to the left. But no, just take your time. You don't even, again, you don't have to go as fast as I can if you don't want. You can literally just take your time. Um, other way, either way, damn girl, you getting it. You getting it. So, hi guys, I didn't die. That's good, right? It is, right? Jump down. Here we go, so we've got a couple more followers now, but not quite enough just yet. So, head into the elevator. Ah, oh, here we are. Right, we're going to go all the way to the very top floor. So go up once, and then go up twice. We're going all the way to the top. And then... When, once we're there at the top as a CEO, what I'm going to do is send out emails to everyone, i.e. BT, douchebag CEO, and say, wow, look at all these record profits. We've got billions of pounds. You want help with the cost of uh, living raising? <laughs> Up your guts. Pay rise for me, not for you. Screw you, CEOs of all big companies. You can suck my left hairy nutsack, okay? Right, go to the very edge on the right here, and make sure again, sort of to the left and up, or to the right and up, sorry, and then climb up. And this is where the final body is. So again, if you're sort of, you know, trying to do these puzzles without a guide or without any help or anything, this one can be very easily missed because it doesn't look like there's anything worth exploring there. But dragging him to the left, chucks him down, and now we can just jump over to the left. They'll catch us. She is meh. And then what we're going to do is head to the left here. And push free, Willy! Push with all your might! Oh no, it squished our boy! Now, you would think a drop from that height would kill, but evidently when you're a strong-willed factory worker on minimum wage while your CEO douchebag bosses are pulling in literally like 100k a year, while you're struggling to make ends meet as the electric bills and the petrol prices are going up, um, or gas prices in America, of course, um... Yeah, the strong-willed minimum wage workers. Yeah, fish, you son of a... Okay, that's the last time I'll complain about um, CEOs and their complete asshole douchebaggery ways. Right, let's go to the left, and shall we see our guys? Hi, guys, I can't believe you goddamn survived. Nice. So, when they're all awake, let's keep heading to the left. And of course, just grab onto the gate. No, don't put me up. Put me down. I know I'm a king amongst men, but no, we just need to grab onto the gate. And there she blows. Right. We're all good. We're just going to keep on heading to the left. There's a couple more um, mindless workers. So get onto the edge and get them to jump you over. There we go. Right. What you need to do, interact with the lever. And when... when when they get to about halfway through, or just over halfway through, through the second archway, put it to the left. I went a little bit too late, but apparently what I ended up doing was just um, shaking the lever left and right, and for some reason that seemed to work. What I was trying to do was push it left so they go back to the beginning and try it again. So, yeah, when it gets to about 60%, just over halfway through, then push the lever over to the left and they should fly down lovely. Or apparently, if not, just give it a little wiggle wiggle. It folds. Jiggle, jiggle. You know. Or did I just get that all wrong? Uh, see, that's why I don't do TikTok, because I look like a douche when I get stuff wrong. And there's lots of douchebaggery stuff on TikTok anyway. Cringe fest! So, we've basically got all our guys now. So, all we're going to do then is laugh about the TikTok cringe fest and go all the way over to the right. Yes, I know there's some good stuff on TikTok, but a lot of it is just idiots dancing for other idiots. It just, nah, bruh, nah. 
So here we are then. We have all our people. So you do include yourself as one person. So what they're all going to do is stand on there. We've got ourselves and we've got the dead body to go. As soon as we're on, the door opens and we can just start springing immediately to the right. And here we are then. We're an hour into the game, which is all good. Now, we've only got about 30 minutes left to get to uh, all of the achievements, but a little bit more left than that. So, here is the sonar bit then. This is just one that we have to do, uh, we have to hide behind stuff as a sonar bangs. So, when that bangs, go over to the right as quickly as you can. And you can always tell when a sonar's about to go off because you can hear the noise where it goes sort of bang. Y you know what I mean? You don't need me to explain that, you can hear it. Right. Next, so now go to the right and immediately push up this uh, lever. Wait. And then as soon as the next sonar bang hits, there, push the lever to the left and go all the way over to the right one. And again, it's places that you should just make it. If you want, you can just keep going to the right and you should just about make it. Um, if you want to be safe and sorry, then that is fine. Now, this is where I kind of struggled with it. So what you need to do is push, uh, wait until the mechanism there Wait a few seconds and push it, get it going again. Wait until the next sonar bangs. Now, now jump onto the ladder, but wait for the, me the uh, mechanism there. Because, of course, you need to go behind it. I just about got away with that one. Climb all the way up and then just stay here until the mechanism comes back around. It's kind of weird with the timing with the lever at the, the bottom there. So you've got to push it to the left and then wait a few seconds. But as the mechanism comes up, jump down. And jump down again, and you should just about make it. So, that one literally took me about 10 minutes worth of try, and I just couldn't get the timing down with the mechanism. But it's the same kind of thing here with the uh, timing type thing again. As soon as the sonar bangs, push up on the gas, jump down, wait for another sonar bang, and then quickly jump back up onto the gas box, jump to the right, and there we go. So I'm sorry that this part's been a bit quick. Right, interact with the switch. Immediately go behind the door and grab it. Now, you should be good for this first bit, but it is just getting over this kind of weird, like, wooden bridge. Um, yeah, time is kind of important with the windows there. So, uh, just keep going, just keep going. Um, I think you should be fine, actually. For some reason, I, j I managed to get through this door part with no problem. Now, here is where I did uh, die once again, I'll admit. What you need to do, wait here until you hear a sonar bang. Now, now jump down quickly and get behind the mechanism here. You should have just enough time. Now, don't jump down straight away. As soon as you hear the sonar bang about to explode, now jump down. And that should give you just enough time to jump down. And that is the end of the sonar section. So, again, apologies that that was uh, explained quite quickly. But um, obviously the timing of the sonar bangs, some of the timing with that could, got a little bit tricky. Again, for me, it was the lever with the mechanism spinning round. Um, but once we're through, we are through Mr. McGrew. We're jumping down Charlie Brown. So go into the elevator, press the button, and enjoy the not end of the game. Right, quick thing we need to do, as soon as we go underwater, start swimming to the right because we need to open up the gate again. So, keep swimming to the right, eventually we're going to start um, uh, standing down. So, open up the gate, immediately go to the right and head into the air pocket above us where the light is. And there we go, that's nice, but you know what's going to happen. More underwater stuff means more weird mermaid thing ring girl, whatever that is. Jump on the gas box, wait... Until, of course, we're going to jump up. And then as soon as it adds its full height, jump over to the rope. Give yourselves the swinger of a lifetime. You like swinging? Me too. Um, <laughs> push the lever all the way to the left. Now, you have to do this in one fell movement, okay? So when it's all the way at the top, let go. Go over to the rope and then immediately jump off as soon as you get to the right. And that should be that one done. Again, no harm if you end up missing. You can just climb back up and try it again. But you just have to get that one done in one swoop. So heading to the right. 
We are getting, ah, here we go. It's underwater stuff. You better watch, you better watch them pyows of yours. Head down so we can go through the gap. There we go. Should have more than enough time anyway to, uh, you know, not drown. Head over to the left there on the ladder and climb up. Right, what we need to do for this bit then, um, interact with the first gas bomb and the left gas bomb at the same time. Go back over to the right gas bomb, jump up, and then as soon as the gas bomb on the left goes up, hit this button and that will push that one there. So that's good. Now what you need to do is interact with this next gas bomb, the one that went back on the floor. And then as soon as it hits its maximum height, give it the old jumperoo of life. Jumpery doodahs. Whatever. Same with this one. As soon as we interact with it and hit the maximum height, jump over to the right. And mate, don't you give a shite. Nah, nah. Right. Head, uh, basically, we're going to head through the gap right now. Now, here is the ring sting thing girl. Ah, she looks like a, one of those weird troll dolls. But she's going to start chasing us. So what we need to do is keep swimming and then immediately head up. Go up as quick as you can um, until you interact with the rope. Try and get up as far as you can because she can still grab your feet, drag you under, and torture you with snoo snoo. And that's not a good thing. Only on future armor is that a good thing. So, what you need to do is give yourself the maximum amount of swing that you can. Jump over and then swing like hell until you get to the next rope here. Again, climb up as far as you can so you don't die. And then this time we can actually climb all the way up. So, of course, you doing that just gives you the maximum amount of time to not die, which comes in handy, as I said. Climb up these next ladders then. And then head into the right. What you need to do is just jump as late and as far as you can over to the right. Now go immediately through the door, there it is, and then immediately just swim up as fast as you can, fast as you can, get up to the ledge, and you should be golden as nugget balls. Right, same with this one, jump as far as you can, keep swimming to the right, and again, you're going to see a rope just in the distance there, or the ledge, so climb up there, woohoo, get in through it, right, climb up the chain, press the now, what you need to do is press the B button here to interact the switch. Head down. Now, you actually need to dip your feet into the water as far left as you can. So that basically, she starts um, coming over to the left. And it gives us, the again, maximum amount of time. So dip your feet in here. Climb up when she's close. That'll do. That'll do, mate. And it'll start. Now, she's not going to go back to original position. She's going to stay around that area. So what we can do now from here is just jump down. And again, uh, as late as you can, jump, and then start heading down. Now, what you need to do is, as quickly as you can, press this button, and then start swimming underneath the door, and then that should get the old ring sting thing um, off your ass for at least a couple more minutes. So, that's all good. Right, we are coming up to another secret collectible now. Um, and it's pretty, you know, they're all relatively easy. So what you need to do is just jump on here, jump up onto the rope. Don't worry, the uh, weird mermaid ring sting thing is not in this area, so that's all good. At least for a moment. Jump over. And here we are then to yet another area. I wonder where this boy thinks he's going. He's literally just gone, right, here I am, let's start running to the right and do some puzzles and stuff. Push open this big, massive-looking safe door, and jump straight up. There's Ring Sting thing, so you need to quickly get up onto the right. Now, we're going to be sort of teasing her a bit. We need to be getting her from right to left, from right to left. And the way we do that is heading over to the right, opening up this hatch, jumping down, and you need to wait until she gets as close to you as possible, okay? So stay relatively close here, but stay underwater so you know where she is. Soon as she gets as close, Ring Sting thing yourself up. <laughs> oh boy, didn't crap my pants or anything. Right, so what we need to do, jump into the left-hand side water, swim straight down, and to the left. So try not wasting your time going all the way down as I just did there. Um, as soon as you can, start heading up, and to the left again to get up onto the edge. And this is where the secret collectible is. Now, what you can do, I'm not sure which is quicker. You can either go back to the right and let yourself die, or you can just open up this vent... And just go back onto this um, sort of rope ladder and just go up there again. Um, 
yeah, really not sure which way is quicker, but we get the achievement anyway, uh, called Unfathomable. Um, so, yeah, I think... No, I don't even know. I don't... I'm pretty sure, you know, whichever way you do it, it's pretty much the, about the same time anyway. If you let yourself die, you'll just come back to this area, I think, anyway. Or you can just push the vent, um, you know, and just come back to this area again anyway. So you might save yourself 10 seconds doing it my way. Anyway, jump back down, quickly go over to the right. I actually almost forgot she was there, to be honest, so I was going for a leisurely swim. And ho almost had my ass cheeks caved in. I'm not in a good way again. And we're just going to do the same thing as we did with the collectibles. So jump down here, press the button, and then immediately swim straight back up. Of course, before she gets here. Always comes in handy. Now we just need to get her swinging her ass to the left. Get your ring sting over here, love. So just jump down, and again, obviously, just wait until she's uh, as close to you as possible. Oops. Ooh, Jesus. Didn't like that one. Try and do a lot better job than I did there, please. And knowing you guys and gals, you're better gamers than I am, so that's all good. Right, jump straight down and then immediately swim down. Hit the button on the way past. And then again, just climb, uh, swim under the door. And, hey, yep, you got ring sting. We beat ya. We beat ya, mama. Climb up so you don't die. And get yourself some air, of course. And then once again, dive down. Dive, duck, dip, dodge. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a... Dodgeball. Yeah, that makes sense. And this is basically just a long old cut scene. We're going to climb up the chain. And all she wanted to do was just give us a little hug and an ability, apparently. You could have said that. You could have just swum up to the surface. You've gone, look, mate, I just want to give you the ability to breathe underwater. That's Is that okay? Yeah, tidy. Not try and kill us at every opportunity, you big ring sting. Anyway, long cut scene. Unskippable. And when I said long, what I meant was it's about a minute or so. So <laughs> there we go. But now, as you can see, like I said, our good pal, apparently she's a pal now. Good pal Ringsting gave us the ability to breathe underwater. So now we can sleep with the fishes and make some fish stick jokes. Make some Kanye West gay fish uh, fish stick jokes. And don't beat, I'm not saying, that's a South Park joke, okay? So if you haven't seen South Park and you haven't seen that episode, seriously watch it. It is golden. Kanye West Fish Sticks South Park episode, if you haven't watched it. Very funny. Right, heading up, heading up, like I said, we now have the ability to breathe underwater, so you don't need to worry about gaining some air. And to be honest, from now, the game gets a lot more interesting, uh, very interesting, in fact, with stuff, uh, with a dark project that we know is going on. And it does get slightly easier, to be honest. Um, I don't think there's sort of any enemies, and the puzzles are... Sort of less frequent, as we've seen so far in the game. But remember, we've still got uh, four more collect secret collectibles to grab, which means four more achievements. So, heading all the way to the right for now. And you know what? You know what? I like it when a game does this. When you go through some quite intense times, and then you just have like 20 to 30 minutes of like quite chilled times. It's very nice. This is where the next secret collectible is then. So, from here, head down. 
and you can see like a giant it, th that's basically just like a giant cat's butthole right there open up on the right hand side we're not going to worry about that just yet we're going to keep swimming down keep on swimming keep on swimming and you can see this little hatch what you need to do is interact with the latch on the hatch um, and that will put that sort of into the middle then interact with the hatch on the latch at the top of the latch hatch or the bottom because it looks upside down that opens up that and this one is going to be the clockwork secret achievement so just keep on swimming to the left and then eventually There it is. Secret collectible. So, swim all the way to the right again. And this time, we are going through the old giant cat butthole Aroni. Your anus? No, his anus. My anus? No, her anus. Unfathomable anus. Dude, stop talking about anus. Sorry. Right, let's just keep going to the right. Again, I'm telling you what, it's coming up, um... <laughs> It's coming up midnight, um, recording this, to be honest, and quite frankly, I've lost the will to live today, so uh, that's why I'm going completely nuts. But of course, you're probably used to my videos now anyway. So, like I said, what we're going to do, this is a turbine puzzle, so you can die here, but you need to wait until the hatch opens all the way. And it'll give you some resistance, but you've got to make sure that it opens up all the way and then you can swim through. Immediately press the B button to grab onto this latch hatch, this handle at the top, until the turbine starts spinning. So if the original door was sort of closed, just wait until it opens up all the way, then force yourself through. Wait until the turbine stops and then go through the right. And then we can grab the hatch here at the top again in the middle of these two turbines. And then what that's going to do is actually open it up for us. Keep holding on, because you don't want to get your feet sliced. Because you're just going to be a little stumpy boy then, ain't you? And then only trees will find you attractive. <laughs> right, anyway, <laughs> keep swimming up. We're all good for this part. Nice, so what have we got now? We've got three, three secret collectibles left. And we are getting sort of closer now to the end of the game. Is there any one potentially tricky puzzle and it's it's not really tricky you just have to get it sort of down um kind of tidy and this is actually where the next secret um puzzle is so what you have to do stand underneath this box here and of course you need to wait now wait until the spotlight starts going all the way to the right then what you need to do follow it and then keep spinning this lever all the way to the right and clockwise. Keep going as much as you can. As soon as the spotlight uh, starts coming back, try and get underneath it again. Sometimes it's hard to judge where the shadow is. So again, just be wary of that. And again, just give yourself a bit of time there to spin it up. What we need to do is actually keep this in the center. So that's pretty center for me. This is important so you don't die. So make sure that the uh, me mechanism on top is as center as you can and then go to the left jump down and then we can go through a gap here through the right now if you put that mechanism basically as square center as you can it doesn't have to be perfect but you know slightly to the left or right we can go into this room and we can grab the collectible if you didn't do it center enough the spotlight can still spot you kill you dead and you'll just have to do that um little spotlight mechanism trick again um, but that is where we get the room for... Oh, sorry, no, that's clockwork. Oh, sorry, I was getting a bit ahead of myself there. No, now we've got three left. Um, but yeah, so that is how you do that. Oh, that is how you get that collectible at least. So again, obviously, wait until the spotlight is heading to the right. Because, you know, again, you don't want to die. I said it's a minor inconvenience, really, isn't it? Now, just keep on uh, spinning it as quick as you can. I think I kind of got lucky with that one, to be honest. I didn't know where the shadow was. That's a, it's kind of the tricky one. Now, again, you can do this in sort of three swoops if you're sort of brave enough. I'm not feeling that brave, or I wasn't feeling that brave in all fairness. So, we're just going to wait. Again, there's no point risking it, of course. No point risking it for a biscuit. No point being a hero, since you can die pretty much straight away. 
as soon as it goes to the left, of course, keep spinning it all the way to the right. Now, what you can do if you wanted was immediately climb to the ladder, climb on the left, and then climb on the right. But, again, I'm not feeling that brave, and that only gives me a couple of seconds, and I would be so pissed off if I had to do all of that again. So, as soon as it starts going to the left, that gives you around 10 seconds or so. 10 to 12 seconds, I think. And then we're all good, buddy. All good. One hour, 20 minutes. Right from here, just jump straight down. You're going to automatically go into the hole. Well, I'll tell you what, you don't even have to find the hole. Good job. Right, <laughs> climb back up, go to the right, go through the gap here in the fence. And we are coming up to quite an interesting section. If you can see at the top of the screen, you can see like a, a bunch of dead bodies sort of floating. So that is like a swimming section. It's kind of like the Stranger Things upside down thing right there. Uh, but we're going to come to that in a minute. So we drop down the hole and jump to the right. Nice, big, vast, empty areas. That's exactly what people would actually love. So what you need to do then, you need to interact with the button to drop this gas bomb down. Interact with the gas bomb. And then as soon as it goes up, you need to punch it off by pressing this button. So as soon as it goes up, bam. Because the arm does come out quite quickly. So smash it off and then it's pretty much golden as nuggety chicken balls. So put the gas bomb sort of at an angle on this sort of slope. Push the gas, jump off it. Because if you stay on it, it doesn't give it enough height. Because, you know, apparently you're a fat boy and it um, <laughs> doesn't fly up like that. Uh, so as long as you've got it at sort of an angle or sort of in the middle of the slope, you should be good. Put the gas bomb here or the gas box in the middle of this light. Press the gas, and then as soon as it goes above into the water, then press the button. That'll close the door on it. Job again. Bang. Noise. So, heading to the left. And going back through the fence. And what we're going to do is head through this next uh, sort of vent. It's not a vent, it's another door. You see, I'm telling you what, I'm looking forward to finishing this because, god damn, I need a nap. I need a nap. I need an old man nap. <coughs> and apparently some old man Werther originals as well. So, here we go then. We are now going to basically solve this little puzzle to get ourselves into the upside down. And what it entails is grabbing the gas bomb and pushing it all the way to the right first. Because we are coming up to another secret collectible. So before finishing this puzzle, we need to grab the secret collectible, which is why I said push the gas bomb all the way to the right. Interact with it. Stand on it. And then you need to press the B button there to interact with the button, of course. So, pop. Pop that one off. Now, you need to stay on this gas bomb. And then when you go and hit the button again, then jump to the right on the platform. So hit the button, go to the right on the platform. And that is how you do that. And then, this one is called Room for Reflection. So interact with the secret collectible there. That is... Uh, that should be achievement number 12 out of 14, and you'll automatically start going down the platform. Rumos for Reflectionos. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we've just got two achievements left to get. And like I said, we'll be getting them within the next 10 minutes. And if you wanted to, you can just stop the game right there, or you can carry on and finish the game with me, if you so desire. Right, so what we need to do then with this gas bomb, bring it all the way over to the left... Leave it here, interact with the f gas bomb in the floor, then put this one up, interact with the gas bomb as you stand on top of it, and then it sort of acts then as a, like a double bomb. So, interact with the gas bomb on the floor, then jump up and interact with the gas bomb straight away, and that sort of acts, like I said, as a double bomb. So, when we get into the weird upside downy place, head up, and we just need to interact with the two hatches. So, bomb off your nan. Bomb off your nan. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what half the crap I say means, but still, thank you for sticking around. I really appreciate it, honestly. Right, so once the two, um, or whatever they are, the two battery looking things are done, we can now climb up or jump up and head to the right, of course. Ooh, right. 
We are, we are. Going to be grabbing the next secret collectible, I believe. Uh, so, heading up the ladder. Sorry, just having a little look right here. I think we are. Yes, so when we get up here, head to the left. Bit of an edit there, because I headed to the right and I didn't know what I was actually doing. Turns out you had to head to the left, so that's why it was the edit skip. Uh, head to the left, you're going to grab basically this box. And when we get about halfway in the room, the um, door will open, and all we have to do is just basically stand, or crouch, which you'll do automatically, and just wait behind the box until the forklift grabs these bunch of people and bag us off. And for some reason, you see the guy, you can see the guy, and his son appears. Now that just reminds me of the one sort of Simpsons episode where Mr. Burns was a kid, and... Um, with the union, you know, the union episode. And he goes, Adams, one, two, three, four, five, six of them, take him away. You know, it just, that just reminds me of Mr. Burns and his son for some reason right there, which is always funny. Lots of quotes. Every game just fills me with quotes and love and donut juice. So I'm pretty happy with that. Right, as soon as they've gone anyway, Mr. Burns and his son uh, or, and his dad, whatever, uh, just bring this box now. All the way basically over to the right. And this is the puzzle I was on about, which can be kind of tricky, uh, but you just need to get it, you know, basically sort of the water level pretty much perfectly right. So drag the water down here with the lever until the box is sort of floating right in the middle, right there. That's all good. Now, what we can do is head up and we're going to start floating and swimming, of course. What you need to do is grab the box and put it basically in the middle of where the platform is below us. Excuse me if you just heard that as well. A, a little a little burp slipped out. As professional as always, as I've talked about anuses and stuff. So when it's in the sort of middle of the platform, go back down, interact with the water to push it all the way back up. That will open up the door, but it will drop the box down. Now what you need to do is put the water at such an angle with the water, st with the door on the right stays open, but that we can um, actually jump on the box and actually jump up. So you should be good as long as you've got the door on the right open. You should have enough momentum there to jump up on the box, swim over to the other side, and jump down and walk through the door. So yeah. I mean, I, I said it was tricky. It was tricky the first time because I was losing my nut bags trying to figure it out. But, uh, yeah, it's actually not too bad. So, now we can jump into the water here. We're going to climb. In fact, no, we're not going to climb. Um, we're just going to... No, we're just going to keep going to the right... No, we are diving. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. We hit a wall, so now we are diving straight down. Now, wait here. Do not go all the way down because there is a worker. As you can see on the second box... There is a worker there. If you go down too far, you'll drop down. And it's basically in the non-watered area. Um, so you'll die, of course. So just wait until he starts walking over to the left. You can see on the left that the door's opening up. So you should be okay from now. There we go, just to jump straight down. Somehow they didn't see a weird guy floating in the air. Somehow they don't see water in the air. Hey, you know, we're all nuts. We're all good. So, interact with the lever here on the left. That smashes a bunch of these bodies down. Uh, I mean, a couple of them disintegrate, which is a bit of an unfortunate way to go. But hey, the arms and legs are still moving, so all the power to you, bras. Uh, but when enough people will dive up, what you need to do is go, of course, back to the left here. Jump up, grab the lever again, so that we can, st so that the water can start falling back down. Doin noi. Look in the mirror. Doin noi. So that's pretty much all my Northern Irish slash English what I know. <laughs> um, right. So what we need to do for this bit now, we need to get these guys and we need to fly up. And there we go. And then what we need to do now, there is a little lever that is too high up, which is why we're doing this. So what you need to do is position yourself directly above the lever, drop down, and then start spamming the B button, so you can hit the button, uh, so you can sort of hit the button, there it is. So keep spamming the B button now, and then you should hit that lovely, and job done.
Right, so now we are coming up to a gap. Of course, don't fall down the gap. Stand at the very, very edge. After doing a hop, skip, and jump. Up your guts, throw us over. I can see a little bum. <laughs> it looks funny. They do all fall in, but that is honestly fine. Um, <laughs> so that's fine. So what you can do is just jump in after them. They will catch you. Job done. So, of course, if you went in first, you would die a death. So jump up. Get them to jump up uh, the right-hand side there. And we're going to climb down. So now we're coming up to this sort of elevator puzzle where we need to get... Um, a couple of people outside the elevator and a couple of these people inside. So interact with the button. They should still be on top of the elevator, which is fine. But you need enough people to be able to catch you and enough people on the other side to throw you up. Which is why we're doing that. So head all the way to the left. Uh, we basically just need to get them to drop us down. And then what will happen is when they all fall down, immediately start running to the right. And then what we need to do, like I said, we need, we need it to be like a half and half, chicken, curry, and rice situation here. So as soon as a couple are in with you, then press the B button like now. That's all good. That's not bad. So it doesn't have to be necessarily half and half. The rest will fall on top. As long as you've got four or five, you know, four, three or four guys enough to um, jump you up. Oops, don't know what's happening here. We are basically going all the way to the top is what we're trying to do right now. So just press the elevate, uh, elevator button a couple of times there until we get to the top. Now we're going to go to the right. And what we're going to do is stand behind this first pillar. You can probably just, you've probably just seen the yellow rope. So go up, jump up. And now as you can see with the screen, we are starting to climb up the yellow rope. So again, as long as you've got around three or four guys, you should be okay with that one. So now what we're going to do is just jump down. There we go. And again... The reason being, we need these amount of guys enough to, um, as you can see, there's the secret collectible. So they need to chuck us up, grab another secret collectible, and that is the office space achievement. So there that one is, and then we can just jump down and you won't lose anything. Job done. Uh, oh, there it is. I thought I was going to go on a lot then. So now we've just got one achievement left, and then, like I said, you can either quit the game... Um, or you can just keep on going. Right, make sure that everyone is on the elevator this time. Even Headless Broski on our left. The Headless Horseman of the No Apocalypse. You're not good if you ain't got a head, mate. So now we're going all the way back to the bottom. And now we're going all the way to the right. So, um, basically I think they're going to meet the end. They're going to meet the end, I think. Man, that guy's head is just gone. Uh, so, sorry, I was very, uh, very motivated here. So this is the part of the game then where we start to sort of see what this so-called dark project is. So we're just going to be doing a bit of a hop, skip and jump to the right for, the, uh, for just a second. We do need these guys to help us up. So go ahead, interact with the switch, and then once again, just keep heading to the right. But, and, and like I said, this is the part of the game. So you think, right, we've literally got about 15 minutes of gameplay left. Um, but again, we are coming up to the last secret collectible, as I said. Now, your uh, instinct would be to go all the way to the right to see what the scientists are looking at. But what we're going to do is basically not that yet. We're not going to spoil it. Um, I don't actually know if you do go, what happens when you do go all the way to the right. So what we're going to do, there's going to be like a little yellow cart. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> what a stupid dick hole. He just ran into the chair. So don't go all the way to the right. We're going to grab this cart. So don't worry about anyone uh, looking at you, finding you. They're just going, God damn, that's a big thing. Uh, push it underneath this ladder. Jump up. And then jump up the ladder. Up, 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 but you go. Right, jump onto the console on the left, and then jump onto the light here, and obviously climb it. Give yourself a little a bit of a little bit of uh, momentum, and then climb up. This is the final secret collectible, as I've said. I'm sure I've said that about 18 billion times already. Interact with the vent here to get rid of it. Go to the right. 
Now we can just jump down. Don't worry, you're automatically, of course, going to crouch here. Um, even though everyone else has seen you, so uh, don't know. That's pretty pointless, really, isn't it? Um, interact with this hatch here. Old steroid Tom Stopman strength right there. This world's strongest man stuff. Oosh! Keep heading to the right, of course, and we're going to come out um, eventually to this little sort of outsidey area. Um, so we're going to jump over to the ladder, head up. The ladder do not head down head up first you can already see the uh, yellow wires which of course signifies the secret collectible now we can head to the right and now we come out to this little area so all we've got to do then is like this pod or something that's going to appear on the right so all you got to do is just head in and then press the b button to pull like you would with any secret um, you can't actually f see it but once it lights up like that that means that it is complete and that is the last one done. So, if you have a look at your achievements, you should now be on 14 out of 14. So, just over an hour and a half. If you really wanted to, and you you can't really be asked to have a look. You just want the achievements. You can literally quit now. And if that's the case, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this get. I really hope you enjoyed the game if you haven't played it. I really hope that the guide helped as well. And that we had a good few laughs along the way, as we always do. Um, so, yeah. Big love, babies. That's if you're off. If you're not off, I'm going to show you the last couple of puzzles that we're going to do. So, heading down the ladder. And then we are going to interact with the hatch, of course. We're going to open up this one. And then we're just going to head to the left. And what we're going to do then is just jump into this uh, sort of uh, machine, mechanism machine thing. So what you got to do then is just press the B button and you can just move it with any direction in the direction with the directional stick. Keep going to the right and eventually you will be uh, all the way to the right enough that you're able to jump up on top and jump onto the ladder and start climbing down. By the way, I don't know why I do weird random accents in my video. I don't know. Okay, so I'm sorry. If you don't like it, I do apologize. But if you do, <laughs> we're all good for a laugh, and we? So, what we need to do now, this is uh, one of the final puzzles, I think, for this guy. So, what we need to do, jump down, interact with the hatch, or the latches on the hatches. So, interact with the second one. You can see the turbine, but that's fine. We're, that's not going to kill you yet, or at all. So, that basically opens up that, as you can see. Opens up the hatch. Jump up. Turn off the um, power, but you've got to make sure that it completely dies, that it just goes completely still. As soon as you can, turn it on and then immediately start swimming down. Down, 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 and then grab onto the latch or grab onto the handle quick as you can. There we go. As soon as the uh, cat's butthole there opens up at the top, you can let go. And there we are. Now we are into the place with the scientists and holy shit balls, it's a blob. So what you need to do then is just interact with three of these things. They do try to grab you. Oh no, leave me alone. And for some reason I went naked too. And sadly the third time we get grabbed into the blob of life. And now we can just um, keep pulling to the left and... Oh my gosh, we as the old blob potato, we can now pull everything and just, yeah, do stuff basically. So, this is more or less the sort of epilogue now. This section takes roughly about 10 minutes. Now, I'm not actually going to speak through this bit. All we're going to do is basically go through the left, go through the right, um, just do a couple of, you know, very, very small puzzles in terms of you know, throw in a, throwing a piece of wood in the air, getting a guy to use a gas box and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to leave you with, with this bit, and I will be back at the end. If that's okay. Please don't hate me.
so once we are uh, basically escaped, they thought they caught us and put us in water. Apparently we were, we were born in the water, molded by it. We didn't see land until I was already a fat potato blob. Um, but yes, once we swim up here to the right. So I hope that, uh, you know, sort of following the guide or whatever wasn't sort of too bad there uh, for the last 10 minutes as we were the potato blob. But this is basically now the end of the game. We're going to do one more thing and then we are going to escape the outside. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm really interested. Again, obviously it's been out for six years. Um, so obviously you just need to go up to the top there, roll your way back through and that is the end of the game. This has been out for six years now, so a lot of people have played it. But again, for those that haven't, or even those that have... I'm really interested to know what you think that the developers were trying to get at here with the ending. Do you think it was very sort of philosophical? Do you think it was all to do with teamwork? Do you think it was to do with, um, you know, us as a bunch of people getting just, you know, in terms of technology and the same thing happening every day? Maybe we are the mindless workers. You know, things like that. So if you have any conspiracies about what they were actually trying to get at, please let me know in the comments section below. That'll be awesome. Then we can have a good discussion about it. But this is basically the end of the game. The credits are going to roll in roughly about 30 seconds or so. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye. So thank you again. If you stuck around for the rest of the video, thank you so, so much for watching. Hugely appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed the game. And I do, help that the, I do hope that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, like comment and subscribe. Share with a friend as well. Big shout out there to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are such legends. It honestly, honestly am. And big shout out to everyone who interacts with me on the daily. And, well, with that one done, I guess I will see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big love.